So welcome back to the part 2 of making a multiple choice quiz game inside of Unity. So in the previous video, we left it off with this error. And in order to resolve this, we're gonna have to go to our quiz manager script. And we need to make some changes to our quiz manager. So first of all, before we actually generate the next question, we need to put in some conditions. So let's go to the generate question method. And here we're gonna put an if condition saying that if q and a count is greater than zero meaning that we actually have a next question so then we are going to do this otherwise we will just print a debug.blog statement saying that we are out of question so yeah that's all we need to do we can just go ahead and try this out right now let's hit play and if we answer all of them there is no error here but the questions and the answers are all, all there and we need to get rid of them and and bring out the more panel that will show us the score and everything after the quiz so in order to do that we're gonna have to make some changes to our UI also so firstly we need to create a new panel for the background we're just gonna copy this image component and we're gonna paste this inside the BG image component so this will be our background so let's bring it back and we can just remove the image component from the from this panel here so now if we disable this we get this blank slate so let's create a new game or panel let's add some text to it for this course so yeah this looks good and we also need to create a retry button let's just duplicate this so let's change the text to say retry so now we have both the score text and the retry button and we also need to place them outside of our bg panel and instead we will create an empty game object here we will call this one game or panel and we will place both our text and the retry button inside of it awesome so so now what we are going to do is when the questions are over we are going to disable the quiz panel and enable the game over panel so in order to do that we are going to have to jump back to our quiz manager script so what we are doing right now is whenever we are answering a question we are generating the next question right away but now that we have put some conditions here we're gonna have to create a new method for when the game is over so let's make a game over method and this method will get calls right after we have finished all of our questions so let's just place it here game over method And what this game over method will do is enable the game over panel and disable the quiz panel. But first we need to make some references for both our quiz panel and the game over panel. Alright, and another public game object for the game over panel. And also at the start of our quiz, we want the game over panel to be disabled first. So let's set this false. Let's copy this. And now inside of the game or panel, we are going to set this back to true. And disable the quiz panel. So quiz panel dot set active and false. Awesome. And the next thing we need to do is also make another method to reload the game. So let's make our retry method. 
and we will just call the scene manager and of course we first need to include the library here so we're going to change into our scene management and what we are going to do is get the current scene index so scene manager dot get active scene and we're going to get the build index of the active scene here and load it right away awesome so we don't need to worry about changing the build indexes so now the next thing we need to do is make a reference to our score text so let's call this one score text and also make a public integer or a private integer for the total question so this will just hold the count of the total questions that we have in our quiz and in the start method we're going to set the total questions to whatever q and count that we have awesome so now inside of the game over method we're going to set the score text is equal to whatever score we have but before that we also need to make some sort of score count so let's go up here and create another integer so a public integer for the score count and we also need to increment this when we answer a question correctly but first let's make another method for when we answer a wrong question inside of this method here we are going to generate the next question and also remove the question that we currently asked so let's just copy and paste this here alright so now inside of the correct method we are going to increment our score count by 1 and also we need to make sure that we change this to row so we don't want to increment the score even when we incorrectly answer the question and now we're gonna set this to whatever score we have out of the total questions that we have in our quiz awesome so yeah that's all we need to do here let's save this and head back inside of unity and now we need to set some references inside of our quiz manager so let's just quickly drag and drop our quiz panel and also the game over panel here and lastly the reference to our score text let's drag and drop this here okay and yep we also need to set the on click method here so we're gonna call in the retry method alright so let's go ahead and try this out Hopefully everything will work just fine. Let's do one wrong. And we got two out of three. Let's retry this. Yep, so everything is working just fine. So now you can add as many questions to your quiz as you want. You simply just need to put in the uh, size of your quiz. So let's just add one here. And here we have our fourth question so you can just put in whatever you want inside of this question string and also set up the answers of course and the correct answer index and also what you can do is to make things a little bit better for the user you can give the feedback by changing the color so when we answer it correctly we're gonna make the button go green and red if we answered the question wrongly so yeah that's up to you so i think that's pretty much all for this video and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel it will be a great help and until next time see ya